Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List Summer Special, a chance to showcase some of our favorite stops for the summer months here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and first up, a place that's far away from the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, down near Del Rio, a superior state park with some incredible cave drawings. Here is Seminole Canyon State Park. In the rugged and rough landscape, where the Pecos meets the Rio Grande, near the legendary little town of Langtree, where Judge Roy Bean dispensed his laydown of the law, sits a canyon with some of the most serene and stunning settings of the Lone Star State. This is Seminole Canyon. Randy Rosales grew up just down the road in Del Rio and now gets to showcase this Texas treasure every day. I can't ask for a better office, that's for sure. <laughs> Seminole Canyon stretches for miles in these parts, and the terrain itself is worth taking the time to see. But there's more here than just the scenery. Seminole Canyon's a pretty unique place. It's got a lot of history, a lot of stories. Some stories we know a lot about, and some are still a mystery even today. In the caves and caverns of this desolate destination is signs of some of the earliest life in all our lands. People have been living in this region for over 12,000 years. It's hard to imagine, but back then, elephants, camels, and carnivorous cats lived in these parts. And the reason we know that are these paintings, left behind by a people that are long gone. These drawings were being drawn around the same time period that the Egyptian pyramids were being built. Well, who they were, we don't know. Uh, we just know that they left their mark on the land. First discovered by Spanish explorers in the late 1500s, the cave drawings are some of the oldest known in North America. Outside of about a 50 mile radius, a circle around where we're at, this particular style of rock art, which we call the Lower Pecos River style, disappears by nowhere else in the world. After taking a short hike, we got a first-hand look at this history in the hollows. Well, this is impressive, Randy. What is this? Well, we call it the triad panel, and it's one of the more colorful and well-preserved panels you're going to find. You can really see the color palette on this one, the different colors they use, the reds, the blacks, yellows, and oranges. It is beautiful. Is this supposed to be, I'm assuming, the main people of the tribe it looks like? Archaeologists believe that this might actually represent some sort of ceremony. You can see the people, and there are clues to always, that you can always find. Look at their feet, the way they're pointing. It all seems to be gathered around this particular center of being. What it actually represents, we're not quite sure. Uh, but the detail of it is it's what's very striking, the straight lines that you see, the featherings in, in uh, the drawing itself, the different shades of color. The stories these paintings tell stir your imagination. So what is some of the rock art that sticks out here? A lot of the rock art is very enigmatic, very abstract. It doesn't appear to resemble anything that we recognize today. So that's part of the difficulty since we don't know who the author of them were. You can see how it can be difficult to interpret, but that's what archaeologists are doing now, and they're finding clues, and, and the research is really giving us a lot of insight as to what some of these symbols may mean. So one day we will figure it all out. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> well, only if we time travel <laughs> and we figure out their dialect. <laughs> What's truly amazing about these people and culture is that their reign in the region lasted a long time. Well, this particular style lasted 1,500 years, so when we associate that culture with that rock style, uh, rock art style, then you're looking at 1,500 years. You know, when you compare that to the age of our country, we just started. <laughs> yeah, truly. <laughs> there is a general belief that these people influenced many of the modern or more modern uh, and well-known cultures that we hear of today, the Aztec, the Mayans, and the Olmecs may have been influenced by the cultures that started here. Unfortunately, the lifespan of these murals is limited. With changes to the local environment, these lines to a lost lineage are starting to decay at an alarming rate. They're slowly disappearing. And unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. It's just a natural deterioration uh, of, uh, you know, that comes with weathering and things of that nature. And there's nothing you can apply to the walls that ain't gonna change the composition of it. Our challenge is to learn as much from them now and record them as much as we can even today. So they're still around, perhaps in digital format, but uh, we can still learn long after they're gone. So make a stop in Val Verde County to see some of the oldest recorded history on our side of planet Earth, making it well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Uh, if you're into the history of people, 
uh, people of this side of the world, then this is the place you want to come.